Hello, my friends. For story time today, we're going to read a book called A Frog in a Bog. This book is really, really good for both counting and for remembering about rhyming words. Remember when we try to check two words to see if they rhyme, one way you can do it is to use your head or your body and gently tip your head back when you say the word. And whatever you hear and feel in your neck, if it's the same ending sound, then those two words probably rhyme. Let's try it. Our title is A Frog in the Bog. A bog is sort of like a swamp. It's a lot of watery grass, okay? Let's check the two words, frog and bog. Here we go. Get your head ready. Frog, bog. Do those two words rhyme? Yes, they do. Frog, bog. They both have that og sound at the end. Now let's look at the front cover. Oh, there's so many things to see. I see a frog and look, the frog's wearing a hat. And down here on the bottom, I see some snails. Do you see those little snails? Hmm. Let's see what happens in a frog in the bog. There's a frog on the log in the middle of the bog. Frog. Bog, log, lots of rhyming words. A small green frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. Now you have to use your eagle eye to see that little frog back there. He's sitting on a log. That means it's a, a piece of wood from a tree. And do you see the bog? A bog has lots of water. I see some lily pads and some weeds and trees sticking up. So we've got a little frog sitting in a bog. He flicks one tick as it creeps up a stick. Now there's the frog. And look, he's using his sticky tongue to catch that little bitty tick. And the tick was sitting on a stick. Tick, stick. Do those two words rhyme? Let's check it. Tick, stick. Yes, they rhyme. One tick in the belly of a small green frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. Oh no, that little tick got eaten, guys. He's inside the frog's tummy. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. It's getting bigger. Now look in the background here. Use your eagle eye. What's that back there behind the frog? Is that a circus tent? Oh my. The frog sees two fleas as they leap through the reeds. Be careful. Fleas, reeds. No right. One tick and two fleas are now in the belly of the frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. Now that illustration is actually a picture of the frog's tummy inside his body. I see the one little tick and I see the two fleas. Oh dear, they don't look very happy. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. So each time he eats, he's getting bigger. Then he spies three flies as they buzz through the skies. Flies, skies. Mm. Let's check it. Flies, skies. Does that rhyme? Yes. So now there's one tick, 
two fleas, three flies, oh my, in the belly of the frog, on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. Look at all those insects, guys. They don't look happy because they're in a tummy and the frog grows bigger. He's getting bigger. He glugs four slugs as they slink through the sludge. Sludge is sort of like mud. So now there's four slugs. Do you see the frog right here? He's already eating one right there. One, two, three, four. He's got a lot more insects and a lot more creatures in his tummy. He's got one tick, two fleas, three flies, oh my, four slugs, ooh, ugh, in the belly of the frog on a half-sunk log in the middle of the bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. Yes, look at his tummy. Look how big it's getting. Now, if you've been using your eagle eye, you'll notice that the illustrator and the author gives us a clue on every page, sort of telling us which little creature comes next. Now here, they showed his tummy he showed his tummy getting bigger. But if you look in the background, I see some snails. Do you see them? The author hasn't talked about them yet. They're coming. Oh no, the frog, he inhales five snails from their heads to their tails. Snails, tails. Does that rhyme? Yes. And oh my, do you see the frog? He's inhaling. That means he's gulping them all up. And now inside of his tummy, there's one tick, two fleas, three flies, oh my, four slugs, ooh, ugh, and five slimy snails in the belly of the frog on a half-sunk log in the middle of the bog. That's a lot of things there. A lot of creatures are in his tummy. That set of creatures is getting bigger, bigger, bigger. And so is the frog's tummy. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. Look at him, guys. Look at his shape. And then that log with the frog in the middle of the bog starts to rise. And the frog sees eyes. Do you see those yellow eyes? Uh-oh, friends. Was the frog sitting on a log? Do logs have eyes? It's not a log. What could it be? It's starting to rise. It's starting to come up. Oh, dear. Then the frog sees claws on a big set of jaws and a mouth like a crater, and the frog screams, Ah! Look, it wasn't a log. What was it, friends? Gator! That's a, a shortcut word for alligator. And look, do you see the alligator's jaws? What is the alligator doing? Can you tell? Is he eating the frog? Yes, with his mouth open wide, all the bugs inside start to crawl and fly and slither and slide. And out come five snails from their heads to their tails. Look, they're popping out of the frog's tummy. They're coming out. Wow. Then out comes four slugs. Ooh, ugh. And then out come three flies. Oh my. Do you see them? They're coming out. Wow. Then two fleas come out. Dear me. And then one tiny tick. Ick. Tick. Ick. The 
there's a rhyme. So all the creatures that were inside the frog's tummy came out. And right in the middle of his holler, that frog grows a lot smaller. All that stuff came out of him, all those little bugs. So his tummy got smaller. Do you see? He's little again. And guess what? The alligator did not eat him. See you later, says the gator as he romps through the swamp. Because the itty bitty frog isn't big enough to chomp. That means that alligator is not interested anymore. The frog's too little. He looked big and tasty when he had all those creatures inside, but now he's just a little bitty. Now, the bugs in the bog keep away from the frog, and the frog never sits on a half-sunk log. Because it wasn't a log, right? It was a alligator. I like that book. It's got good rhyming words. And the set gets bigger. And then the set of creatures gets smaller. Good listening, friends. Good listening to a frog in the bog.